I think it is not only early stage. I think that is going to be every time. It's go, it's a moving target. The first impos- you know, impossible uh, thing that we felt was getting the product out of the door uh, from the engineering team. And this, then then came the funding, getting the first dollar from an investor who, who don't know us, who doesn't understand us. That is the first biggest challenge. And then it moved to first paying customers, another, another bigger challenge. And first 100 customer was another bigger challenge. First million dollar was a challenge. So every time there was one critical milestone, needs to be a challenge, you know. And now we are we are onto a different challenge now. So that's where we are at. But if you say out of all these things, the most important thing was getting the first paying customer was the biggest challenge. There is a lot of ways this this can be overcome. You know, I'm a minority in the uh, in in this context of what you're talking about. Obviously, because of my complexion, people thought I'm an engineer. I don't have this business. That itself is a you know because a lot of time when you see you know an Indian coming over here, an Indian immigrant, a lot of times they think them as an engineer who is more technical in nature. But uh, I'm not an engineer by trade, I, nor I did my engineering degree at all. So um, that was the first biggest challenge I had because people perceived, okay, this person is an engineer, but on my background is into business. I, I, I was able to show them I can sell. Uh, that kind of gave them, or at least the investors who invested money on us, including Elevate, that uh, comfort, okay, this is, you, we don't need to have that uh, um, uh, perception of okay only engineering technical so yes they can do so they trusted us yes it is going to be a challenge but I think as you can demonstrate obviously this is a country of opportunity I definitely see that and I I experiencing it on a daily basis so I, I'm very fortunate to have this what I realized is Nitin had this uh, uh, combination of uh, being an entrepreneur by himself and uh, an investor had and a fund manager had. So I think he understood uh, the uh, um, the impact that he would make on an upcoming entrepreneur. Um, I think it was a risk at that time when he invested in us. It was a risk, but I think he was willing willing to take that risk and he was able to give me that uh, comfort to okay, yes we can get through this. I think that what uh, made a difference. I was fortunate to you know, associate myself or our company into Elevate. Uh, so we are in a very good position right now. I strongly believe uh, we are today in this position because of networking. I met Nitin at a networking event. So first six months of RFIO's career or life, all I did was networking. All I did was went to the, the various events like uh, Ties, Pitch Club, Elevate. Uh, I think they had a gathering. I went to um, some other networking events locally. You won't get customers on day one. You won't get funds on day one. You need to go out and understand the the landscape there. We are today here because of the network. Uh, what what we spent in the initial. I think it is an investment that would you would see the benefit of the, you know, may not be immediate. Sometimes it is immediate. In case of Nitin, it was immediate for us. A couple of meetings we had, we was able to convince an investor who invested in us. But on off late, you know, uh, if you look at the way we have grown, including a lot of local companies referring us to another company, and referring to word of mouth helped us. So that is an investment uh, I, I, I put in. I think we are reaping the benefit now after two years. Yeah.